Welcome to our ensuite. It's finally fully finished and I'm so excited to show you around today. So this room used to be our main bathroom and it was a lot smaller in size. Um, we managed to steal a little bit of space out of the hallway to make it a bigger room. And now it just feels a lot bigger, even though we've added only about an extra meter. So from our main bedroom, you walk through these double closet doors to reveal our ensuite. And the first thing you see is this beautiful vanity from ADP. This is the Waverly design and I've gone for the prime oak finish. It is so beautiful. It's got subtle curves around the edges and it really is the hero of the space. Above it, I've teamed it with mirrored wall cabinets from ADP as well. I've gone with the Margot Basin in a matte white finish. Just wanted something really simple, clean, and it is a beautiful basin. One really cool feature that I have in this bathroom is all of our power points are hidden. So we have a hidden power point in our vanity and two in our mirrored wall cabinets. In this room, I wanted to keep it light and bright. And so with our tile selection, I've gone with the Brunswick Kit Kat tile in the matte white finish. Um, this one's from Tile Cloud and I've teamed it with a light gray grout for the lines to really pop. And then about a third of the way up the wall, I've used the Paddington Terrazzo look tile in the white. Um, it's got a lovely subtle speckle finish to it. The reason why I've gone a third of the way up is to make it easier for cleaning in the shower area. Um, less grout equals less cleaning. On the other shower wall, I've gone with the brush grove in the matte white finish. With the white grout, it almost disappears. It almost just looks like it's not even tough. It's like a plain white wall, which is what I wanted. I wanted it to look really seamless. For the tapware, I've gone with Yabby. Um, they're a great brand. They're actually owned by Tile Cloud and you can buy everything online from the same website, which is super handy when you're doing a renovation. I've gone with the brush brass finish in here just to add a little touch of luxury to the space. So one of my favorite features in here is actually the mirror orb wall lights from Lighteria. They have a beautiful matte finish um, and they are stunning. They go with the mid-century modern vibes. When you turn them on, they create this beautiful warm glow and a lovely ambience to the space. So I love the look of VJ. I think it's a classic look and I've incorporated that into the bathroom as well. I've used Surround by Laminex Classic VJ 100 profile in this space. It's great for wet rooms. You just need to make sure it's away from the splash zone. Next up, we renovate our main bedroom, including a custom-made bedhead and built-in wardrobes. Stay tuned for next episode as we reveal this gorgeous new space.